this is Miss Emily. Welcome to Baby Time. Today is Monday, May 10th, 2021, and we have some great songs and rhymes, and we have a good question for the day, and we're just going to have a lot of fun. Remember, every day to become a good reader, you should talk, sing, read, write, and play. And I know, I don't say should very often, but these are the things that we can do to become good at early literacy skills. And it doesn't just mean writing like writing a letter. It means using any kind of thing that you can scribble with. And it doesn't just mean reading a story to yourself. It means sitting down to read together or just looking at a book. So there are lots of ways that we can incorporate literacy into our day. Let's get started. Well, there's our cat. That cat is ready to sing. How about you? Shall we sing about our day today? I think it's going to be a sunny one, so we'll say sunny, and we'll hope that maybe the clouds will go away. Come along and sing with me, sing with me, sing with me. Come along and sing with me on a sunny Monday. Come along and clap with me, clap with me, clap with me. Come along and clap with me on a sunny Monday. Come along and roll with me, roll with me, roll with me. Come along and roll with me on a sunny Monday. Come along and stretch with me, stretch with me, stretch with me. Come along and stretch with me on a sunny Monday. Good job, everyone. I'm so glad that you're singing with me today. Pickety pickety bumblebee, won't you say your name for me? That's a wonderful name. My name is Miss Emily, and I am the head of the Youth Department for the Mason County District Library. I'm glad you're with us today. Well, look at that. We are ready for some more stretches. Are you ready? You can even stand up if you want. Up, down, turn around, touch the sky, and touch the ground. Wiggle fingers, wiggle toes, wiggle shoulders. Say hello. Hi, everyone. Someday I'm going to figure out how to make a video and put it in here, and you'll see me do all these things. Oh, look at that. Our little owl is under an umbrella, and it's raining. Did it rain this last week? Hmm, we had a little bit of rain, didn't we? We had some days that were very cold and windy, too. Well, let's talk about the rain. Let's see. What do we like about rain? I like that the rain comes down and feeds our flowers and makes them grow. But I don't like that the rain comes down and we can't play outside as much. Sometimes it's okay to play in the rain when it's warm enough. But let's say our rain rhyme and maybe the rain will go away. Rain, rain, go away. Come again another day. Rain, rain, go to Spain. Fair weather, come again. We all just want to play. Come again on Saturday. All right, now it's time for some Espanol, some Spanish. This song is um, one that I found on Spanish Playground, and it's got all the colors. We know our colors, right? You can point to them as we sing them in Spanish. Rojo, amarillo, azul y verde, negro, morado y anaranjado, blanco, café y rosado, y al final el gris. Good job! I have on a rosado shirt today, a pink one. What color do you have on? Well, look at that baby. He's got some oatmeal today. Did you have oatmeal this week? I did not, but Mr. Garland had some the other day. He's all done with it now. It's all gone. <laughs> oatmeal starts with the letter O, and we can hear that and see it in that big round letter at the top. Let's sing together. O is for oatmeal, that's good enough for me. O is for oatmeal, that's good enough for me. O is for oatmeal, that's good enough for me. O, oatmeal, oatmeal, oatmeal starts with O. Great singing. Well, look at that, it's time for our opposite. This is big, 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 and this is small, small, small. This is short, 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 and this is tall, tall, tall. This is fast, 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 and this is slow, slow, slow. This is yes, 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 
And this is no, no, no. Good job nodding your hand, nodding your head, or your, yeah, your hand and your head <laughs> to say yes or saying no with sign language by pinching our two fingers to our thumb. You can do that. Good job. It's the question of the day. Hooray. What song makes you happy? Do you have a favorite song right now? I like You Are My Sunshine. That's always been one of my favorites. Um, let's see. Maybe you like Baby Shark. I don't know. That's pretty funny. My kids like all kinds of crazy things now because they're older. But I remember listening to a lot of songs over and over and over. <laughs> and most of them made me smile. I will say that. What's your favorite song right now? What song makes you happy? Well, this song makes me happy. I love our Orbit song. Let's sing it together. The earth turns around, the earth turns around. Once a day, every day, the earth turns around. The moon goes around the earth, the moon goes around the earth. Once a month, every month, the moon goes around the earth. The earth goes around the sun, the earth goes around the sun. Once a year, every year, the earth goes around the sun. The stars are all around, the stars are all around. Here and there and everywhere, the stars are all around. Good job. You know so much about our world. You can be a good scientist and observer. Oh, it's our popcorn rhyme. I love this one. Let's be like popcorn and pop all over the place. Pop, 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 you put the corn in the pot. Pop, 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 you shake it till it's hot. Pop, 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 lift the lid and what have you got? Pop, 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 popcorn! Woohoo! Look at that! It's, it's a boat! We were talking about boats on story time this week. We will be talking about boats on story time for Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. So maybe you want to check out some of those boat books. But let's sing Row, Row, Row Your Boat. We'll sing it two times and you can row along with me. Are you ready? You might hear my chair creak a little bit as I row. Row, row, row your boat gently down the stream. Merrily, 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 life is but a dream. Row, row, row your boat gently down the stream. Merrily, 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 life is but a dream. Good singing, everyone. Well, there are all the months of the year. I see them printed out. And I see May. That's the month we're in right now. It's got a letter M and it's got a flower. Oh, there it is. It's the only one with a flower, isn't it? Let's say all our months in order. January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, December. Yay! Good job! Putting things in order is an important math skill. You did a great job with that. And counting is another really important math skill. Let's count on our fingers as we count our flowers in our song. One little, two little, three little flowers. Four little, five little, six little flowers. Seven little, eight little, nine little flowers. Ten little flowers grow. Oh, you can get bigger. Get bigger. Oh, good job. You're growing so well. All right, now for some parent encouragement. We asked earlier if there was a song that made you happy. Music can help us in so many ways. Did you know that singing can lead to the re release of endorphins? Those are the hormones that decrease stress, lower anxiety, and make you feel happier. Singing and even just humming can lead to lower levels of postpartum depression too and make your whole family feel better. I know when I've had a really crummy day, if I come home and I put on a couple of really obnoxious songs that I love and turn them up loud and sing along with them, I do feel better. So make sure that you're spending some time every day singing, humming, whistling, just playing around with music. It's good for us. It also helps encourage deep breathing, which helps our bodies reset. And we've talked about that before, reset that autonomic system. It gets us out of the feeling of shallow, shallow breaths, quick breaths that often accompanies anxiety and stress. It helps us calm down. 
So let's let's all sing a little bit this week. I'm going to try to do better. Okay, do you remember what today is? What day is it today? Oh yeah, it's Monday. Let's sing our song. Today is Monday, today is Monday, all day long, all day long. Yesterday was Sunday, tomorrow will be Tuesday. Let's have fun, let's have fun. I hope you had fun yesterday on Mother's Day, and I hope you'll have fun today for baby time and all this week. It's fun to come and play with you. Okay, here's one of our rhymes for this summer. Our summer reading theme is Tales and Tales, all about animals and stories. So, we have a lot of animals on this page. I went to visit the farm one day. I saw a pig across the way. And what do you think that pig did say? Oink, oink, oink. <laughs> I went to visit the farm one day. I saw a cow across the way. And what do you think that cow did say? Moo, moo, moo. I went to visit the farm one day. I saw a duck across the way. And what do you think that duck did say? Quack, quack, quack. I went to visit the farm one day. I saw a horse across the way. And what do you think that horse did say? Nay, nay, nay. I went to visit the farm one day. I saw a cat across the way. And what do you think that cat did say? Meow, meow, meow. Oh, you're a good cat. I went to visit the farm one day. I saw a dog across the way. And what do you think that dog did say? Woof, woof, woof. <laughs> good job on your animal sounds today, everyone. Hooray, it's time to sing our ABCs. I love the ABCs. Are you ready? A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, and Z. Now I know my ABCs. Next time won't you sing with me? Yay! Great singing today! Oh, here's a fun song. I like this one. Let's start out with clapping our hands. Are you ready? This is the way we clap our hands, clap our hands, clap our hands. This is the way we clap our hands so early in the morning. This is the way we pat our heads, pat our heads, pat our heads. This is the way we pat our heads so early in the morning. This is the way we stomp our feet, stomp our feet, stomp our feet. This is the way we stomp our feet so early in the morning. This is the way we tap our toes, tap our toes, tap our toes. This is the way we tap our toes so early in the morning. Great job! I love that one. Lots of good activities there. Oh, it's the goodbye train. That means baby time's just about done. I can't believe it. That went too fast, didn't it? We had a good time today, though. Let's sing this together. Oh, the goodbye train is leaving. See you soon. Toot, toot. Oh, the goodbye train is leaving. See you soon. Toot, toot. Oh, the goodbye train is leaving. The goodbye train is leaving. The goodbye train is leaving. See you soon. Toot, toot. Oh, we'll say goodbye to Constance. See you soon. Toot, toot. Oh, we'll say goodbye to Ava. See you soon. Toot, toot. Oh, we'll say goodbye to Finley. We'll say goodbye to Oscar. We'll say goodbye to Crew. See you soon. Toot, toot. Oh, we'll say goodbye to Easton. See you soon. Toot, toot. Oh, we'll say goodbye to Madeline. See you soon. Toot, toot. Oh, we'll say goodbye to Juniper. We'll say goodbye to Farron. We'll say goodbye to Genevieve. See you soon. Toot, toot. Oh, we'll say goodbye to Violet. See you soon. Toot, toot. Oh, we'll say goodbye to Jackson. See you soon. Toot, toot. Oh, we'll say goodbye to Charles. We'll say goodbye to Miles. We'll say goodbye to everyone. See you soon. Toot, toot. This is Miss Emily saying goodbye train. We're so glad you were here for baby time this week. But don't go away quite yet. We have one more thing to say. Our alligator is here to tell you what to watch for. 
Look at that! It's the Tales and Tales Summer Reading Program for 2021. Kickoff is Friday, June 11 at 7 p.m. in Ludington. We are just having one kickoff party this year, not anything in Scottville. But if you are in Scottville, you can still go and pick up your summer reading sheet and get started tracking your minutes. 20 minutes every day for every dot on the sheet and you just fill that out and when you get to halfway you will get a prize and when you get to all the way done you will get another prize. So that is the same as every year and we're working on setting up our online summer reading tracker. It's called Wandu Reader. <laughs> it's a funny word and we will have that um, URL available soon. We'll have that on the website and Facebook page and we'll put that out for other places for people to find. So be on the lookout. Get ready now. Pick out your books. You've only got a couple weeks left until summer reading starts. So pick them all out. Find all your favorites. Come in and grab some at the library from our online catalog. You can still do curbside this week. And next week, we will be opening for browsing. That's the big news. Wednesday the 19th is our tentative date, provided nothing changes between now and then. So we'll be very flexible, and everyone understands that things are changing quickly. So that's, that's the date for now. But I will let you know again next week. So this is Miss Emily saying, keep up the early literacy, have fun, talk, sing, read, write, and play today, and I will see you next week for baby time.